Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Chad's Budget Corner, where we don't like cheap stuff, we like good stuff cheap. So today we are going to review a Tenwu smartwatch. The last smartwatch that I had was an Apple iWatch. I think it was a Series 3. Uh, very nice and very functional. Um, however, it had some drawbacks to it. I now uh, have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9, so that opened up my possibilities for budget smartwatches, and this one appears to be the one. All right, well, let's get to it. The Tinwu smartwatch. Now, everybody apparently has a cool knife. This used to be my grandfather's, and uh, so this will be the official Chad's Budget Corner box opening knife. Isn't that neat? I thought so. So, uh, one little spot right there, it looks like, and apparently you're supposed to make a noise, uh, but I'm not this time. So, take that off, and... Uh, there we go. Some decent packaging. I'm not really all that excited about unboxing videos, but I would like you, you know, it does kind of show you what kind of uh, presentation they're willing to give you, you know. You got some manuals and stuff in there. We're not going to use those. This is what we want to see. Uh, actually, feels pretty decent. Looks really nice. Um, it's got some weight to it, which I like, and, uh, it's honestly about the same size as the watch that I generally wear. So I like that. I don't like a little, I don't like a real small watch and I don't like the square watches. I'm just not a big fan. Um, so I do like the, uh, round watches. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to keep talking. I want to get this thing charged up and working. So, uh, like I said, real quick unboxing. Going to charge it up. Here's the, uh, here's a little charger cable. Apparently, I'm not smart enough to figure out how to get it undone. Uh, looks like uh, we've got, let's open it up here. We've got time. Looks like it magnetizes. And we don't have it set the right way. The only way, and there you go. So if you have it backwards, it won't, it won't lock in. Uh, it's magnets. So that's your proprietary uh, charging cord. This is also supposed to be uh, wireless charging. Let's pull over my little Samsung wireless fast charging thing here and see if it'll work or not. Can't tell. Peel that off. I guess what we'll do is uh, we'll just go ahead and charge it and turn it on and let's see if this thing's got any juice. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. Guys, that's a nice looking watch, man. I'm I'm for 50 bucks so far. Uh the It's a little rubbery. The band is a little rubbery, but uh it'll actually do really well. I'll have to get on their website and see if you can order different bands. I did not check that, but uh, it's a really neat looking watch. Um, so I'm going to download the app. I'm going to let this thing charge for a little while, and uh, I'll get back you, to you a little bit later on after I've had a chance to wear it and uh, let you know what I think. Okay, here we go. This is a week later. Uh, not to you, but to me. It's a week later. I've had some time to uh, wear the watch and give you some impressions on it. I'm going to start off by saying, cut to the chase, 50 bucks, you can't beat this thing. 
Uh, it gives you all the notifications you could ask for. Uh, you cannot reply to notifications on this. Uh, however, it does send you the notifications. This thing is built like a tank. It's IP68 waterproof. Uh, so you should be able to uh, take it swimming. Um, I did take uh, take take some showers. I took a bath. I bathed the dogs in it with it on. I slept with it on. It tracks your sleep. It does an absolutely great job with uh, just about everything. It's got some really neat different watch faces. It's got 15 different watch faces. I'll go through some of those here. Um, show you what they show you what they look like. Uh, very very nice screen, beautiful screen. Uh, this is probably my favorite of the uh, of the watch faces. Um, gives me lets me know right there that we're connected. Uh, let's there's the battery indicator there shows me how much battery life we still have if i tap up here if i tap up here that takes us into the weather app uh it gives us all the pertinent information we need to know it says still 75 degrees out here in indiana uh swipe up from there and we've got 15 days 15 day forecast you're not even going to get that on tv so 15 day forecast i can see that tomorrow is the first and it's going to be 82 degrees and looks like it's going to be cloudy. So, uh, very nice, um, very nice to see on that. We've also, like I said, it will, uh, it will give you all the notifications that you want. Uh, <clears throat> Facebook notifications, text messaging. It'll let you know that you've got a phone call coming in. Um, here, I'll, uh, let's see, let's swipe up here. We have got music control. So I've got Spotify on my phone. Say I'm working out in the garage and I'm, I'm Bluetoothing my Spotify off my phone into my uh, speaker. And I don't want to listen to whatever particular track. Uh, all I have to do is tap on that button and I can... Uh, go up a track, down a track. I can I can take care of the volume up and down, and I can press play, or I can pause it. Very nice. Works really well with the Spotify. Uh, this one is going to be so. Uh, do not disturb. You can do that at night. Makes it really nice, so you're not getting notifications if you happen to be wearing it. Um, and then we've also got the eco enabled, which is the uh, which is going to let your battery run uh, quite a bit better. It's going to decrease the uh, it's going to decrease the brightness of your uh, watch and give you some longer battery life. And uh, then we've also got this button here, which helps you find your phone. So if you press that button, uh, it will make your phone ring, which is really pretty neat. Um, Let's see, what else have we got here? Uh, so, let's drop down. There's a notification. Peacock, check out NBC Sports on Peacock for topical talk with Mike Floria, Dan Patrick, Rich Eisen, and more. Okay, so, I got a notification from Peacock. Uh, really cool app if you haven't uh, downloaded it. Might want to check it out. Okay. Also, let's see what have we done. Let's let's uh, swipe over here. Now, over here, you can get to your sports mode two different ways. So, from the main uh, screen here, you can swipe over, and you can tap on the little running guy. And we've got eight different sport modes: uh, biking, running, walking, hiking. Uh, looks like badminton, table tennis, basketball, and soccer. So, uh, I'm going to be doing some biking this next week. So, what I'm going to be doing is uh, putting that on that. It's going to let me know my calories burned because I've already got my age and weight and all that kind of stuff put into the Tinwoo application. So, it's going to be able to calculate how many calories I'm burning 
keep track of my beats per minute and keep track of how long my workout is. This also hooks up to Google Fit. It did not hook up to my Samsung, uh, Samsung Health or whatever it's called because I've got a Note 9. Um, but it does hook up to Google Fit. So that's a plus. And I do know that if you have an iOS device, that it will hook up to your iOS device. Okay? So good to know there. Uh, let's see. Over here, now we can check our steps uh, and our activity. This is telling me that I burned 971 calories today, which is bullshit. Also thinks that I went five point some miles. And that I did 14,363 steps. Okay, here's the caveat there. I drive a dump truck. So, uh, this thing thinks every time I'm bouncing that I'm going more steps. Okay, this thinks I'm taking steps. I am not. I am just literally bouncing down the road. So, I've probably bounced down the road about 14,000 times today. So, uh, leaves me with about 363 steps. Yes, I've actually walked longer than that. Oh, my baby, here I come. Okay, she's letting me know that she's on her way, which tells me I need to be going, wrapping this up, and running to Dairy Queen. Uh, so, there's a notification. That's what I'm talking about. You cannot reply to that notification on here, but at least you can see it, which is a huge plus. Um... I implore you, if you are looking for an inexpensive smartwatch that uh, will do some sleep tracking, take care of your calorie, uh, take take note of your, uh, your heart rate, your steps, all that kind of stuff, give you some notifications, this is an absolute steal, okay? Absolute steal. I will tell you, uh, I did have an issue. This is this is my fault, though. This is the proprietary uh, charging cord that it comes with. And uh, unfortunately, this is magnetized. Unfortunately, uh, my handy-dandy knife. Well, that's what happened to it. And that happened while it was plugged in and uh, burned up the cord. So, it didn't burn a hole in it. It just won't work. But the nice thing about this watch is, here we have our handy dandy fast charging Samsung uh, wireless charger. You can put the watch on top and voila, we've got wireless charging. So that's how I've been charging the watch. Uh, just put it on one of, my, uh, one of my wireless chargers, gives it a couple hours and boom, there you go. You can expect about three to four days uh, out of a charge, out of a full charge. Uh, the seven days, I'm assuming that would be if you're in eco mode. But uh, who's doing that? We like full on bright. We like to be able to play with our stuff, uh, our watches and phones and whatnot. So uh, nobody wants to be in the dark. So three to four days, which is way better than I was getting out of either my Samsung watch or my... Uh, or my iWatch. So, bang for the buck. I paid 50 bucks for this thing. Cannot beat it. Absolutely recommend it. It's got so many different features on it, um, but I need to go get Dairy Queen. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, review, please give me a like and uh, subscribe if you like, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.